Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast. Well, we have spoken about a whole host of things, but a lot of action in the commodity space as well. Manisha Gupta joins us as always. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Hey, morning. Thank you for that. Well, I'll start with the crude oil prices, which are trading firm now, but uh, clearly the WTI holds below $70 a barrel. But the political instability in Russia has been a supportive factor. The demand concerns from China, of course, keep the prices in check. For the month of June, we are down 5.5% for the crude oil prices. So yet another month, which is going down in the negative there. The metal prices also have been under pressure. June could be a month that could see pressure going forward. Uh, the market still are awaiting the China stimulus to support the manufacturing sector. The new yuan loans in May have totaled 1.3 trillion. Markets were anticipating 1.6 trillion, and that has been a bit of a disappointment. So you have copper prices trading off its six-week highs. Uh, steel is off its two-month highs that it was trading at. The markets also have come in under pressure for the iron ore prices, where we did see seven-month highs. And same is the case with zinc aluminum also. A second straight day of negative moves coming in for this one. The markets are now looking for the U.S. consumer confidence numbers, that is today, and the European Union inflation data comes in on Friday. These are two important events to watch out for. Okay, all right. We'll keep a track of that one. Thank you, Manisha, for bringing us all those details.